Hello, and welcome to my introduction to programming course on YouTube, episode one. So, as you are here, you guys probably are interested in learning how to program. So, why, sh why learn how to code? First off, you get to empower yourself to be able to create and build whatever you want, whatever your heart desires. And not only that, you will expand your mind since programming helps with logic. You will notice immediately in your everyday life, you will be more analytical and more resourceful in solving problems. Finally, when you create programs, you can, you can make your life and others easier. What I mean by this is, for example, back before the iPhone, we used clocks to tell the time. And every time daylight savings came around, we would have to reconfigure the clocks. Now, with the iPhone, we can easily see the new time because a program takes it into account for us and it has made our lives easier as well as everybody else's who uses the iPhone or any computer device to be able to see the current time. And so this is just an example of one way a program has made our lives easier as well as yours. So we will be working with Python. Now, Python is a high-level programming language, which means it's not as close to the machine language and the hardware, um, which would be more of a low-level langu language, like assembly, but Python's a very high-level programming language, which is very nice as a beginner because it is easy to read, easy to learn, and just beginner-friendly overall. And that's why I've decided to use Python to teach you guys how to program. Now, we will be writing your first program. We will use an IDE, an Integrated Development Environment Replit, to write our first Python program. This is the first program that every programmer writes. Okay. Now let's jump into getting to Replit. So you guys can just type in repl.it at the top of your browser, Python. So you can just search that into Google. This is 100% free. So we can just go to the top one, Replit Python compiler. You want to make sure that we are in Python 2.7, which is the version. Um, if you guys are not in Python 2.7, you guys can just follow these steps. So you can click New Replit, um, Change Language, type in Python, the first one that comes up. And now you guys should all be here. Feel free to pause the video um, to try to get here again. Um, and also feel free to make an account like I have. So. Let us start with the very first programmer that the very first program that every programmer writes, and that is hello world. So in this case, we will print out hello world. And when we hit run or command enter on a Mac, it will print out to the console hello world. Now, let's dissect what's happening right now. So you can think of print as doing exactly what it says. So it's printing everything that comes in a space afterwards that is within these quotes. And a big issue would be if these quotes did not exist. You can see how everything turns green. Replit is very nice and it makes the colors very apparent. So if we wanted to just do print hello world, it would not run. It would say syntax error invalid syntax. 
Now, that is why we need quotes around our statement. Whatever it is that we want to print out to the console, we need quotes around it. Now, the quotes that I'm using are double quotes. Python is very lenient, so you can actually use single quotes as well. So say you wanted to just do hello world like that, it would run the same. Notice that there's a space in between the print, which isn't that, doesn't matter that much, but to write clean code, you want to include the spaces. So you want to make everything very legible, and if everything's scrunched together, it's very hard to read. So it's important to keep a space in. You can also write parentheses around this print statement and it will do the same thing just to make it just to group it and make it a lot cleaner to read which is nice so have some fun with this um, I actually when when I was taking my first computer science class and my teacher told me to print out hello world I absolutely printed out jello world because Jello is so much better than Hello, and that's why I printed out Jello World. But feel free to test out whatever you want, print whatever you want. You can have multiple print statements, so I can print out Hello World. Again. So now we have Hello World and Jello World. You can print out numbers. So you can print out one. Now, this is where things get a little confusing because there's something called a type. Now, what we've been printing out right here in when we printed out Jello World and Hello World, those turned green. And that's because they are strings. And a string is something that is just simply characters. It doesn't really necessarily have a numerical value. Like you can't add hello. Like you can't do hello plus one, right? You can't do this. This does not work. If I wanted to print out hello plus one, it doesn't work because hello is a string whereas one is an integer. Now, if I were to say print one plus one, as you can imagine, it's going to give us two. So you can think of this as the green quotes. Anything in the quotes is a string, which just means it's a list of characters. Whereas anything that isn't like a number is just going to be treated like a number. And that means it has a different type than a string. It's an integer, whereas a hello is a string and you can actually check your type so you we can actually print out the type of hello and you can see it says type is string that is an abbreviation for string whereas if we had one inside of this these quotes it's going to tell us that it's an integer so it's good to be careful between the distinctions of strings and integers, and we can do a lot of cool things to manipulate them. And so I encourage everybody to play around with this and really just print out your hello world. Because that is the first step to becoming a programmer. And being able to print things out to the console is quintessential to writing code because it allows you to test your code and it allows for users to interact with your code 
it allows you to visually see it. And if you can't visually see it, then what is the point? So being able to print things out is essential. This concludes our day one of Python. Comment and feel free to ask me any questions and leave any suggestions. I take them all into account. Like and subscribe for new uploads and be sure to catch the latest content. And I just want to congratulate every one of you on taking the first step in learning how to program. And I hope that it one day will revolutionize your guys' lives just as it revolutionized mine.